is Drew from iTouch Hacking 101 and I'm going to show you the easiest way to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation without losing any of your information or any of your apps, any of that stuff. So, okay, let's get started. What you want to do is click on the download link in the description. When you do that, you should have something called Red Snow 0.3. Now I'm going to show you something fast. Okay, look at my iPod now. It has some apps on it. it. has Cydia and Installer on it. but I have And I have a theme on it. Yes, I have that theme. It's jailbroken. As you can see. Jailbroken. Sorry, jailbroken, but it will still be jailbroken even after I do it. But yours, if it's even if yours isn't jailbroken, um, you c it will save every single app you have. So what you're going to do is open up that file, Red Snow, and now you're going to put your iPod in DFE mode. You're going to hold the power button and the home button at the same time for about 10 seconds. One two, three, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then when you hear that beep, let go of power, but keep holding home for another ten seconds until you hear another beep on your, on your computer. Make sure you're, it's plugged in. Okay, there's the other beep. Now, you can tell when it's in DFU mode by just clicking the home button. Nothing will happen. So now, I'm going to zoom in on this. It will tell me to hit any key to continue, and I'll hit enter, and it'll say DFU mode successful. And now we'll start the jailbreak, and your screen will turn white, but yours won't go as fast as mine because mine's already been jailbroken. And then you'll see this, though. It's pretty much like quick pun. And then it'll be doing all this stuff. Once this box closes, then pretty much you can... Keep it plugged in, and then you're done with the jailbreaking process. And you could check out my other videos, um, or our other videos, me and Ryan's other videos, uh, on how to get like winter board and all that stuff. Uh, okay, now it just closed, and it's downloading jailbreak data, and then that little thing is spinning, doing its magic. Make sure it's still plugged in. I'm not sure if you can unplug it or not. But, yeah. So, as you can see, if you've ever done ClickPalm before, this is what it looks like on ClickPalm. So, yeah. Just let that load up. Once it's done loading all the way, then your iPod will be successfully jailbroken. And you'll have all your information on there, too. All your apps, all your music, everything. So thanks for watching this video, and I hope you subscribe, because that would make our life that much better, um, and we'd be able to make more videos for you guys. Um, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.